How do ships survive massive storms? Numerous issues that arise from various sea conditions might affect ships. These difficulties include of shifting weather patterns, oceanic influences, maritime problems, and geographical considerations. The main question mark around their survivability, though, is to how effectively the ships withstand storms. Due to their strategic geographic placement, tropical regions encounter the most hurricanes. This belt is the starting point for 75 to 85 storms on average each year, but just 60% of them harm the land. These storms vary widely in size, severity and behavior. While the smaller ones disappear in 24 to 48 hours, the larger ones can last for more than a week. Therefore, the large ship traffic in the storm area requires ships to be smart and responsive. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned until the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about how do ships survive massive storms. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start with a little introduction. This includes the ability to maneuver safely, have good seafaring habits, and keep up with modern communication techniques. Less than 200 ships of all sizes are involved in marine accidents and capsizes each year. For a total of more than 80,000 ships across the standard size range, this is a hugely positive number. Thanks to the advancements in maritime technology, marine accidents caused by bad weather are decreasing every year. In 2019, about 16 ocean liners reported bad weather causing irreparable damage. Therefore, the latest technological developments contribute greatly to the way ships weather storms at sea. The most important development to the survival of ships was the introduction of ECDIS in the early 2000s. Electronic chart information and display systems gained considerable popularity due to the shortcomings of paper charts. Although the display does not have dynamic capabilities, it does provide the ability to use other tools. With sensitive plots and behavioral patterns of ships nearby, the navigation team benefits greatly. This gives them a great advantage in terms of changing forms of sailing. Despite its electronic origins and advantages, ECDIS is still a graph. Thus, marine officers get the information they need to decide which route the ship should follow for safe navigation. Whether routing agencies, private or public, provide this essential information. These warnings are usually in the form of coastal warnings or sea warnings for vessels in their coastal areas. Areas like the Cape of Good Hope and the coastal waters of Gujarat in India are experiencing worrying weather changes. This requires local monitoring to keep the vessels informed about the hourly status. In the unlikely and unfortunate case of water penetration, integrity is crucial. Incidents in the early 1980s, such as the sinking of the Derby Shire, are an undeniable example of this. The extension of the watertight bulkheads to the upper deck continuously provides space for the ship. This means that the vessel remains stable even if water enters the structure due to damage. In addition, the front outlets, air vents, and tank top all feature a reverse waterproof design. Despite its structural and technical perfection, the vessel frequently failed under test conditions. The biggest contribution to these incidents comes from unfair sailing practices or bad combinations. With all the equipment and redundancy, the human factor still matters. Each year, more than 1,200 major and minor impact incidents occur as a result of improper bonding practices. These included a lack of vigilance on deck and in the engine room during stowage. Storms always guarantee bad weather, even when ships slip them from a good distance. Some tropical cyclones have an outer radius of 100 miles or more. With continuous rolling and pitching, safety standards are more important than ever. Ships often go counterclockwise when entering stormy areas. This also includes maintaining a headline as far away from the eyes as possible. The standard process of surfing or catching the waves ahead is within the range of consciousness. Bridge view standards play an important role in all the aspects. This includes the ability of captains and first mates to leverage their experience. The loss of thrust under test conditions may be most significant for overturning. In addition, accidents caused by power outages or thrusts do not give a second chance to recover. A standard of predictive maintenance for machine maintenance ensures that such incidents are very rare. This can range from regular filter cleaning to generator routines to be ready for an emergency. Backup power also requires frequent availability checks during the test period. Redundancy of critical components, such as backwash filter elements, may seem small but has a big impact. A variety of factors contribute to determining how ships survive storms. However, with 726 incidents of a critical nature in 2020, there is still room for improvement. The factor of human error due to changing global situation also contributed to the damage. Many climate changes, such as global warming, make hurricanes unpredictable. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for today, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.